Only on 6 Now, police bring us inside of one of their investigations after several homes are burglarized in southwest Portland. Now, the raid happened early this morning near southwest 45th. Well, we dug deeper and found out that in the last year, there have been 18 burglaries within a half a mile of the suspect's home. Police say 10 of those are linked to the same investigation. Brent Weisberg tracked down the neighbors who were fed up with the crime. Well, police say that this is the culmination of a months long investigation. Yeah, it was bad. It, we were all emailing each other saying another break in, another break in, keep your eyes open. As burglary detectives search the Southwest Portland home. And we believe that uh, we will probably recover some stolen property here. Things are starting to add up for Patty Carney, whose home was burglarized last year. It apparently was happening when people were at work during the day. Her friend James Tabor says it's a relief to see detectives searching the suspect home, but a surprise to know the suspected juvenile burglar lived just doors down from his victims. You know, there's no major thoroughfare through here, and, uh, and we all kind of figured it was somebody local, so because um, it just doesn't happen much here. This search warrant today is kind of the culmination of a long-term investigation by one of our burglary detectives. And it took police months to piece everything together. Some victims that have been hit multiple times. Police say this case quickly became a high priority. This particular neighborhood is a very quiet, very nice place to live. And um, it, when all of a sudden you have 10 burglaries in a couple of months here, it stands, sticks out like a sore thumb. Patty says neighbors felt uneasy watching the patrol cars cruise the sleepy streets in the days following a burglary. It was kind of stressful to see all that kind of presence. She hopes now things will finally get back to normal. Well, because the suspect is a juvenile, police can't release too many details about him. It is expected he will make a court appearance in juvenile detention. Reporting in Southwest Portland, I'm Brent Weisberg, Coin 6 News.